Uh, one of the many great things about Peak Blinders is the haircuts. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, we have something in common. Uh, we were discussing backstage. Both of our mothers, French teachers. Yes. Yeah. Did that mean? Are, does that mean you're good at it? Do you know it? No, no, no I was for a while. Yeah. How about you? Never. <laughs> I haven't spoken in 20 years. I kind of understand a little. Yeah. Bit. We have something in common. To have something in common, to share the same interests or have similar characteristics. No, 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 I was for a while. Yeah. For a while, for a short period of time. I didn't really know that much about the movie. I knew it was good, but, it, you know, it's a magnificent achievement, the first movie. And for me, the thing I loved so much about it was the... Um, the emotion. Sure. It just hit me emotionally, you know. Essentially, it's a, f it's a film about family, as is the sequel, you know. It, you know. Pet phrase. Pet phrase is an informal term for an expression frequently used by an individual in speech and or writing. A pet phrase may be widely known, a cliche, for instance, or peculiar to the individual who employs it. It's a magnificent achievement, the first movie. Magnificent, very good, beautiful, or deserving to be admired. It's a magnificent achievement, the first movie. Achievement, something that a person, company, etc. has done or finished successfully. It just hit me emotionally, you know. To hit somebody, something that is wonderful and appealing, which can get a person's attention. Essentially, it's a Essentially, relating to the most important characteristics or ideas of something. It's a film about family, as is the sequel, you know? Sequel, a book, film, or play that continues the story of a previous book, etc. Peaky Blinders seems like the name of a cartoon horse. <laughs> uh, I'm a huge fan of your films. There's not a lot of kid-friendly work. You know, it started as a little show on, on BBC Two in the UK. And um, then very, because it had no advertising budget, and the BBC don't generally ad advertise, so it, it, it just, it was word of mouth, you know? Uh, I'm a huge fan of your films. A huge fan of somebody or something, to like somebody or something very much and to be very interested in them. There's not a lot of kid-friendly work. Kid-friendly or child-friendly means suitable for children. And um, then very, because it had no advertising budget. Budget, the amount of money you have available to spend. So it, it, it just, it was word of mouth, you know? Word of mouth, the process of telling people you know about a particular product or service, usually because you think it is good and want to encourage them to try it. Uh, but then I feel like the show had a great vibe because everyone was in hysterics yeah, and the energy loose. was like... Uh, but then I feel like the show had a great vibe. Vibe, the mood or character of a place, situation or piece of music. Because everyone was in hysterics. Yeah. In hysterics, laughing